What's going on guys? Josh here from Josh Russell Photography and I'm back with another review for you guys. This is the newer 600 watt wireless studio strobe with high speed sync. I'm using it on my Sony a7 III. I went out today and I shot some, but before we get into that, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, so you know when I release new videos. Let's get into it right now. All right, so like I said, this is the review of the newer 600 watt studio wireless flash. It is a full power 600 watts and works with high speed sync, which not many Sony cameras right now are able to work with high speed sync because there aren't that many flashes available for high speed sync. There is the Flashpoint Explorer, Godox has a 600 watt and the newer. Well, actually these three flashes are the same. They're just rebranded with different names. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to cover the one that I bought. They were, it was not sent to me. This is not a paid endorsement. This is a real world review. I bought it off Amazon. If you guys like it, the link is in the description below. Please buy it through there. Help me out a little bit on this channel. But we're gonna get into it. I went out today with my friend Matt and we shot and I'm gonna roll that footage now. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the entire situation. So let's get into that right now. What's up guys, I'm back again. I am in downtown Appleton right now. I got my buddy Matt here and we're going to go over the newer 600 watt NW600. I know I talked about it in another video, but we're gonna go over it more in depth and show you exactly what it really can do with really bright sunlight. So let's get into the video. Before we do though, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up, the notification, so you guys know when I put another video out. All right, so like I said, I have the newer NW600BM out here. It is the exact same light as the Flashpoint Explorer or the Godox A600. Uh, this is Amazon's version, the newer, and so far, so good. I absolutely love the thing. I'm gonna show you exactly what it can do in such bright lighting and we're in downtown Appleton Houdini Plaza and it is sunny right above me it is two o'clock in the afternoon it's really sunny we're gonna see what it can do as far as killing this harsh sunlight and creating some really good lighting on a subject so we're gonna shoot here we're gonna walk to an alleyway which is a little darker and then probably right on the street so come along with this and let's see what we can make happen all right so first location we're on these stairs I got the uh, flash just a little above him I'm shooting at full power uh, f1.8 ISO 100 and 1 6400 shutter speed so let's take a couple shots here let's take one without the flash So that's the one without the flash. Now let's pop one with the flash and show the difference. So as you can see, there's a major difference in the two shots. Uh, and then I just got to edit it a little bit in post and it turns out something like this. All right, so now I switch to the Sony uh, 18 to 105 F4, get a little bit wider. I got a circular polarizer on there. I'm gonna swap them around. I'm basically just gonna shoot just the background and see what we can get going on. So let's swap around. All right, so we're walking to the next location. I found this really cool brick wall that has like the sun shining through the uh, fire escape and the shadows just look really cool. I'm gonna see if I can capture something awesome here, so let's see what we can do. All right, so we're at this location now, which is an alleyway behind uh, Lou's Brew Coffee Shop. Uh, the YMCA is right here. 
and we're gonna shoot some more. This is actually one of the very first senior photo sessions I ever did was here in this alley uh, with, oh, sorry, I just saw the, the pedal bus go, or the pedal trolley go by, did you see that? The drinking pedal trolley go by? All right, so we're gonna shoot down this alleyway and let's see what we can come up with. All right, this has nothing to do with the video, but check this out. It's a pedal bar. So basically you get on it, you pedal, and you drink while you're on it too. I'm gonna take some shots. Better picture up there. Where's your drinks? That's awesome. Great shots here. They look awesome. We're gonna walk back now, but we're gonna head the street side and work with the shadow and then we're done. So one more location and then we're out of here. So hope you guys like this. Once again, subscribe. Let's go hit some streets. Last location, the last spot. We're just gonna shoot right here with the, basically the street. Completely blurred out the bokeh behind him and just kind of get some cool shadow lit up spots in the middle of the daytime. Who would have thought? Let's take some shots. So what I'm gonna have you do for this one is I'm gonna have you start probably right where that sign is. Yeah. Picking them carpets. <laughs> so that is a wrap on this shoot thanks matt for coming out matt's a hip-hop artist here he also makes beats and uh, does tattooing as well tell them where they can find you just so they can find you you guys can follow me on uh facebook just look up r braille that's r dot b r a i l l e uh pretty much on anything any platform you got facebook youtube snapchat instagram all that stuff r braille um, also, I have a website, rbrailmusic.com. Check it out. There you go. So check him out. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions about the newer 600-watt uh, light, uh, go ahead and hit me up. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, the bell notification, so you know when I put another video out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So as you can see, it worked out really well. I'm super happy with it. The way that you can shoot over, you know, shoot high speed sync at like one over 6,000, one over 8,000. It's insane the way you can, you know, compensate for the, the, the sun being right above us. It was great. I want to thank Matt for coming out and doing it. Like I said, the link is in the description below. If you like the way, what you saw, if you have any other questions about this flash and working it with this Sony, mirrorless cameras like I said I use the a7 III I was shooting with the 85 millimeter 1.8 and I was shooting with the uh, 18 millimeter or 18 to 105 f4 they both worked great I hope you guys liked this the, this review was fun to do it was a great afternoon it was hot it was beautiful and we saw the pedal bar thingy so make sure you hit the thumbs up button leave a comment subscribe bell notification so you know when we come back with another one guys I'll see you in the next one peace